Hello everyone, welcome back to more Little Big Planet PSP. We're gonna start off by ace, uh, well finishing off this level. So I'll meet you wherever. Well, I'll meet you at that car where we missed three objects. Right here we are. Let's see if we can do this now. There we go. I think we got all of them right. I hope so. Um, yes, we did. Great. Okay. I was kind of worried there. And I also aced the level. Yep, I did. Good. And we got some stickers for that. And what is that going to give us? Alright, three materials. That's always nice. See, so yeah, now we'll finish off these two mini games that we still have left in this world. One of them being one of the hardest levels in the game, in my opinion. This one, I raised dead people. We're gonna play that first. Get through the horribly haunted house. Who dares wins? Lots of points. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny. Okay. Okay, this is the escape scene of the Little Big Plant Haunted Horse of Witches and stuff. My new movie. I want to see fear, panic, and lots of points. Action! Alright, let's do this. There are actually a lot of collectibles in this level. I, I think there's more collectibles in this than any other minigame level. I don't think these can kill you, which is good. Right, this part is still pretty easy to do. You can get on top of their head to get collect these items up there. Go on. There we go. Oh, that was pretty close. There we go. This is just like that laser part in the other level, except easier. Here we got a spider there. And this is why this level is so difficult to me. I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. Okay, that was that was completely my fault. I don't. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, we can actually just read that reach that by jumping. I really have no idea how to properly do this without without being killed every every time. Wow, I did it. All right. I, I, I feel like it's just kind of random whether you will live or die at that part. And yeah, from that point on the level isn't that difficult anymore to ace. Uh, but yeah, that part just... Ugh, I hate it. It feels so random. It feels way too random. Right, I want to grab onto that spider there, please. I guess there's nothing up here, actually. Is there? Nope, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, stop. Ugh. I guess I can waste lives right now because it doesn't really matter. Right, there's an there's a collectible and down there you wanna grab onto the spider and get that, but I or you just fall down and die and get it, that's also fine. It's a valid strategy, I guess. And down there there's nothing. Okay. Right, let's keep going. Okay, what is down here? Oh wow. I feel like that should have killed me. Yep, it should have, okay. I guess it does it doesn't on that one, which is kinda weird, but I'm not complaining. Okay, this bit is kind of unnerving. There we go. Okay, this is just some floaty material. This part isn't that hard, and if you, uh, okay, never mind then. Right, let's do this. This is gonna be dreadful to ace. I hate acing this level. Okay, you wanna? Wow, wow. Okay, just wait for the right opportunity is now, and now, and now, and now, 
and now, and now, and now. There we go. That was some riveting commentary there. Is there something behind this? Nope, there isn't. Oh. Alright, I hope we collected everything at least. Yep, we did. Good. I think I'll replay this level right away and try to ace it. Just because I want to. I really want to get that out of the way because it's horrible. So yeah, I'll meet you whenever I've done that. There we go, that wasn't that bad actually. What does that give us? A bug costume and some wings and this music. This music is quite useful because it's pretty much the only one that actually could be considered scary in any way. From the entire PSP soundtrack, which is a big downside to it in my opinion. Because not all levels you want to make are happy. Uh, jump the canyon of probable death on your mean machine for a juicy points fest. Alright, let's do that. My stuntman is off sick with cowardice, so you need to stand in. The le lever ang al alters the angle of the launch ramp, then hang on to the throttle to accelerate into a death-defying leap. Land in the zone shown on the plans. Alright, well that's... You just got a kind of guess here. I'm gonna maybe like this. Yeah, sure. Let's see whether that works. Over here, is there something? Nope. Okay. So let's try and see whether this works. Well, that was a little bit too high. Okay. So I'll have to replay that stage. There you go. That was quick. And we aced it, wow. Um so good. So good. We actually got this music which is which I really like. I really like this music. This might be my favorite uh, track from the PSP soundtrack actually. Right, let's replay this right away. And I will actually show this because there is a perfect position for the ramp. Maybe it's about here. Ish, maybe a little bit down again. There we go. Maybe this. Oop. Let's see if this works. Ah, that was quite good. Uh, I'll restart it right away. Okay, so even lower than that. So let's say about this height. You can kind of remember where you place that ramp by looking at uh, at the stickers in the background. Alright, did I get everything? Yes I did. Great. Okay, so that's how to do that. There we go. Okay, so now we can move on to the final world of this game. This has been a pretty fast playthrough, I feel. I guess it's because I've cut out a lot of trying to ace stuff and yeah, so stuff like that. So, crashing the party. Help the cura crea curator creators with their floats and they'll help you with yours. Okay. Now I really like this final world because, well, well you'll see what it's like anyway. It does something that none other of the worlds in the Little Big Planet games do. Hi Sec Boy, welcome to the Carnival of Creators. We've got a float ready for you that just needs the finishing touches adding. All your friends are already here and are preparing their floats. Go see them and I'm sure they'll help you out. Right, we got some more costumes right here. I think we'll customize our Sec Boy one final time. Because it doesn't really matter what we waste time right now. Uh nah, I don't like that one. This one, there we go. Look at that, that's amazing. Uh sure this robot weird thing, I guess. 
Um, well, this you won't be able to. S oh, okay, okay then. I guess you will be able to see that. Wow, this looks like an amazing hairstyle. Yeah, that's great. Uh, let's show all this. Pick this witch's nose. Wow, amazing. Um, oops, what did I pick? All right, some shoes. Fine. Um, let's show a magic wand. Always amazing. Uh, this pharaoh's kilt seems to fit quite well with what we have right here, and maybe this black tie. There we go, and uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's rocket. Great. Okay, is there something around here? Nope, there isn't. And once again, the music broke. If it isn't my little sack superstar, here's your award. I need a photo of you with our award. Big Ron and the le leading lady for publicity. Hurry. Alright, I will. So you have to take this award with you. If you don't take it with you, then they'll complain to you. And down here, I think there's actually something hidden right here. Nope, there isn't. Wow. That's kind of weird that they didn't hide anything right here. I would have hidden something there. Alright, let's keep going. You wanna wait until it's like this, and then you wanna rush past, basically. Now right here, you wanna jump onto these clouds, and then jump down and land on this thing, because it'll give you some points. And that's always great. And let's get back up there. There's the moment you wanna go. There we go. And let's place this here. Oh. Come on. Oh yeah, the publicity picture. Forgot about that. Big Ron's taking a nap. Give him a hand waking up. Oh, okay. There you go, Big Ron. I'm such a help. Why can't anyone else do this? How does this even make sense? Perfect. Take the sticker. It'll give your float a bit of bling. Alright, let's take that amazing sticker right there. Can we do something over here? I guess not. So let's jump down here and also get this thing, which we also actually need, I think. So if, if you don't collect that, then you will actually get stuck later and have to revisit this level. Now, one thing that I wonder is something down there. Yes, there is. Great. Okay, I think this is actually the item that I didn't collect for ages. I think I missed this one for a long time and didn't know where to find it. But now that we've actually finished that stuff up there, we can actually just jump onto this hand right here, or whatever it is. I think it's Big Ron's hand. Ah, Sackboy, just in the nick of time. My clock won't work. Can you have a look at the mechanism for me? Okay. Let's look at the mechanism. And there's nothing behind here, and maybe here? Nope. Okay. Right. Down here, this is actually really nice. I love this. You're supposed to fix his mechanism right there. And we, wow, okay. First of all, you want to grab this, then you can see that they are rotating nicely. And then you want to pull this white thing here over there. There we go. And then you want to pull the red thing over. And there we go. Nice work, sir. The carnival will now start on time. There's some cowbells hanging around here somewhere. You can use them to jazz up your float. Well, um, let's... there we go. I'm wondering actually if I missed something down there. And it stopped turning, because we left the area, which is kind of funny. Right, so we didn't miss anything down here, that's good. Probably should have checked that before, but oh well. Uh, there we go, we have Hans's children moving down here, which is always nice. And we got that cowbell. You want to go over to the left here to get this key. Then you can go up his house. And there is another item up there that you want. Now I'm wondering, is there something over here perhaps? Nope. Ugh, just a waste of time, okay. I guess you could theoretically... Ooh, you could theoretically get up onto that... Uh, that uh, cable that the cable car was riding on. But I don't see why you would. Alright, I think we're done here. Actually, maybe down here. I mean, you can walk here, so there might be something. Oh! What was that? Okay, that was weird. 
Okay, I feel like I've missed something now that I've... So we got, we're gonna have to kill ourselves here. I, I apologize. So I will have to play this level again. Well, nice. Well done, me. Great. <laughs> oh no. Come on now, get up there. Okay. Once more then. I hope we won't fall down again. That's, that would be quite annoying. Here we go. Don't launch yourself up there. That will be kind of silly. And I guess we didn't miss anything after all. I just know there's oil here somewhere. If you help me locate this black gold, I would re reward you most handsomely. With one sticker, probably. How do we actually get up there? I don't quite remember. Maybe we have to do this thing first. You want to get up into... oh, never mind, actually. I think you want to start by digging out the things down here. I don't know what that was, what's it, what it's supposed to be. Oil's well and that ends well. Now jump in the wheel and give the pump a kickstart. Alright. And there's nothing down there. I already checked. And got stuck a bit on the oil. That's something that you don't usually do on oil, right? Uh, we can't... Ooh, what, what, wow, you can actually talk to her already, even though you're not supposed to. And... Oh, jeez. Alright. I feel kind of silly for, for going to all these places without any secrets in them, and then getting stuck in them and having to kill myself. Alright, so I think you want to rotate this thing here uh, without falling it off. That would be great. There we go. I'm surprised this works as well as it does, really. It seems kind of like something that, would, that you wouldn't be able to do in the PSP version, but you can. Thank you. May the fleas of a thousand camels never infest your sofa. Take these feathers to stick on your float, my friend. Alright, I think I'm kind of stuck here. Okay, no, I might. Okay, good. Let's take this one feather that he gives us for actually finding some oil. Which really, that's that's very fair. Okay, you want to get on top of this and somehow... Oh, never mind, you want to get on top of the oil, actually. There we go, nice. Got four more stickers. And now you can carry on. And this camel is now actually moving. There we go. What did you say? Oh, check out this. Check out Sackboy's fancy decorations. Why not place them on your float using the stickers you've collected from the other creators? See, this is that, that lovely thing again. There's actually a sticker down here, which is kind of easy to miss. <coughs> That's what I was looking for this entire level. Um, yeah, this is another one of those instances where stickers are used in a very clever and creative way. Oop. Sorry about that. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Um, right here. There we go. And over here the same. There we go. Now the bells. I'm just kind of OCD about about adjusting them to fit perfectly. I like doing that. There we go. And here's that. Now this bikini top, of course. Can't forget that. There we go. Beautiful. I guess it doesn't really matter there because it just disappears, but oh well, I like I like doing this. There we go. Your yeah, float just gets better and better. Now should now uh, you should take a siesta, then we can think about getting this float finished. Alright. There we go. I think I'll have to... Yeah, obviously I killed myself twice there, so I'll have to replay this and ace it. But that's fine. Because this level is pretty easy to ace anyway. Mostly because there's not any death traps after the, the first part of it. So yeah. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. 
Yeah, you can actually go from the first world, uh, from the, the last world to the first world right away by doing this, which is kind of weird. But oh well, uh, yeah, next time we'll keep playing this world. Bye.